you know, 10 kilos of fuel in the car uh, costs three tenths of a second every circuit per lap. So if I'm a kilo overweight, I can lose up to two seconds in the race distance. So my weight is very important. And also during the weight, I lose up to four kilos in the race in an hour and 45 minutes. But this is because it gets so hot, isn't it? That, so it's, if you're in something no, like Singapore or Malaysia or something. Yeah, those ones are killer. Um, but also because it's, it's just incredibly physical. And uh, the G-force that we pull when you go, I mean, the thing's like on rails. So when you're doing 150, 180 miles an hour and you turn, the thing turns and your body wants to go the opposite way. So you have to have a really good core stability. You can't be big and bulky. If you have your weight, you know, if I was super muscly up here, my weight would be too high. So I could do lots of squats from my butt. Okay, so, but... I'd, I'd like to watch weight. that routine. <laughs> do you have to get to your driving weight? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, so actually, um, so each year the car is built to a certain weight, but at the beginning of the year it's heavy, so they were, they asked me to be a certain weight, so a little bit lighter than normal. But then the car goes through a weight uh, saving process through the year. And, um, but yeah, for, I think What for do the you first, take away though? What can you take away if it's, why do you... If the car's too heavy? Yeah. Uh, they'll you... take, you know, components off. So if I'm, if, uh, yeah, if the car's overweight, they'll just take certain devices off the car, which...